So basically, this is the tiniest biryani shop that I have yes. ever visited. But the flavors, the aromas that are emanating, are the sort that immediately seize hold of your olfactory senses. I lost my job now. Every everything is uh, fulfilled by my husband. So, a small outlet we took. We didn't have so much money. So, like, uh, and but that time I was passionate for the food. I wanted such a place where I could see myself here and my children here. Hello, Mr. Bhai. Good evening. Sir, we give more than 500 grams of biryani. And there are four pieces of meat? Three pieces of chicken. What I love here is that gentle crust of the meat on top and its very soft, moist nature, moist texture within. Your Lucknow biryani is coming a little bit of Urdu. If I eat more, then it will also come to the show. There's a certain smokiness in the flavor of the masala here. Hi folks, this is Kripal Amana, Gourmet on the Road and you're watching Food Lovers TV. I hope you're doing well. I hope you're staying safe and strong. So today we've set out to taste a biryani and also in doing so perhaps help a small business that's doing its best to survive. So a few days ago I received this Instagram message from this lady, the owner of this biryani shop, speaking of the work that she did and also the circumstances that compelled her to open this enterprise. I am told she lost her job during the pandemic and also had to deal with some family emergencies. So today I thought we'd explore this eatery, this tiny eatery biryani shop called Biryani Delicacy, taste some biryani and in the course of doing so, also hopefully help a small business find its feet. And if you know me, well, I'm always on the hunt for a good biryani. And I'm told they do the Lucknowi style of biryani here. So needless to say, I'm excited about tasting another biryani here in Nama, Bengaluru. Let's go. Namaste, how are you? Hello, how are you? You are Mahi. No, yes, I am Mahi. And you are? Majid. Majid. He's my son, Azlan. Hi, Azlan. How are you? You don't need all this. No, sir. No, sir. Oh, I can smell some food already. Is it yeah. coming from your yes. kitchen? Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, wonderful. It's taken us about 30 or 40 minutes to get here from Koromangla. I think I'm in a part of Bengaluru that I've never been before. What is this area called? It's Akshay Nagar. It's Akshay Nagar. We took a ride at Bamanhalli and then we went straight on the Nayandana Halli main road and somewhere we've reached Biryani Delicacy. <laughs> yes, sir. You began this? Yes, sir. I have started this one. How old is this now? Uh, we have started on uh, November 6th. So almost six months completed. Six months yes, completed. Sir. Yes, sir. And how long have you been in Bengaluru? So I have completed more than eight years. Eight, eight years, years completed, yes, sir. The story behind is I wanted a job. I had just just uh, completed my MBA from Gurgaon. Then from I Gurgaon. moved here. But where are you originally from? I am from Lucknow. Sir. From Lucknow, yes, proper sir. Lucknow. Proper Lucknow, and uh, just I completed my studies from the Kanpur. Okay. So it's a mix and match. Uh. <laughs> and my husband is from Azamgarh. Uh. But when I came to Bangalore, I wanted a job. Uh. I searched my job in a pharma. Somehow we met like uh, our family, just you have to marry with him. He was in Saudi, uh. in Jeddah. Then uh. he came back here. I lost my job actually okay. uh, in August, so that time we don't have anything. In first wave, my son got COVID. That time that uh, we don't have so much money and it was the first case in Karnataka. Dr. Yogesh Gupta was there, he was admitted in the fortis. Uh. So that time we have taken so much loan. I lost mm. my job now, Every everything is uh, fulfilled by my husband. So a small outlet, we didn't have so much money, so like, uh, and but that time I was passionate for the food. I didn't like fancy food, I didn't like Majid. So I was like, I had to eat my husband, so the authentic recipes that I didn't get here, I started to make it. When I made biryani, I didn't like it, 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 I did
उस चीज का फ्लेवर टेस्ट सब कुछ मैंने एकदम सेम वही रखा अपने घर पे भी सो हाँ। so, जब ये आया कि नहीं अभी आउटलेट स्टार्ट करना है मुझे एक अपनी जरूरतों को पूरा करने के लिए एक चीज को पूरा करने के लिए फॉर माई लोन रीपेमेंट तो so, उसके लिए हमने फिर सर्च किया कि क्या कर सकते so, हैं। तो छह महीने हो गए अभी। हाँ सर छह महीने। हमारे रिपीट कस्टमर हैं। हमारे so, न्यू कस्टमर। यस यस सर। बिकॉज़ इट्स लिटिल अंदर तो लोगों को उतना पता नहीं चल पाता है। What are we looking at? सर बिरयानी जो है मैं आपको वो मटन बिरयानी खिलाऊंगी। मटन बिरयानी। Yes sir. हाँ तो chicken भी बनाया आज? Chicken भी बनाया specially आपके लिए मटन भी बनाया जो कि हम संडे को बनाते हैं। अच्छा What is Lucknow we see कबाब? Commercially हम उसमें नहीं जा रहे हैं क्योंकि उसमें क्या होता है they are meeting some mince और चर्बी वगैरह वो फैट वगैरह डाल देते हैं। But यहाँ पे उसको specific करने के लिए मैंने उसका लखनवी कबाब करके रखा हुआ है। And then you have the galotti. Yes galotti आपको मैं ये बिल्कुल दावे के साथ कह सकती हूँ आपको पूरे बैंगलोर में नहीं मिलेगा। क्योंकि वो चीज हम बचपन से खा के बड़े हुए हैं। तो हमें वो लज्जते ताम का मसाला पता है। सारे मसाले ताम तो उसका मतलब क्या हुआ? लज्जते ताम एक ऐसा मसाला है जो कि मोस्टली नवाब उसको यूज करते हैं जब उनके खान सामा बनाते थे हाँ। तो उसमें पान की जड़ डलती थी और खस की जड़ डलती थी तो वो सब मिक्स करके पीपली डलता है वो कहां से? You get वो from भी Lucknow? सब लखनऊ से ही हमने मंगाया पूरा शिपिंग चार्ज दिया so ये जो गलौटी बोलते हैं कि इट वॉज इन्वेंटेड बाई नवाब वाजिद अली शाह उनके वो सही है वो सब दैट स्टोरी इज ट्रू एक्चुअली कबाब दैट लिटरली मेल्ट इन योर माउथ राइट गल जाता है दैट्स वाई द गलौटी एंड देन यूर ऑल्सो डूइंग शामी है शामी विच वी आर ईटिंग एट होम जो नानी दादियों से बनता हुआ आया है जिसमे की चने की दाल डलती है मीट के साथ मीट के साथ उसमें दही नहीं डलता उसमें प्रॉपर गरम मसाला डलेगा आपका जो ऑथेंटिक गरम मसाला वो मैं यूज करती हूँ दूसरा ये है कि उसमें अनियन भी उसी के साथ बॉईल की जाती है वो अलग से नहीं आप डाल सकते हैं अदरवाइज उसका मसाले का वो सब टेस्ट चला जाएगा उसमें जो रेड चिली होती है स्पाइसेस के लिए वो खड़ी डलती है उसके सारे स्पाइसेस डलेंगे गरम मसाले में उसको ग्राइंड करके उसकी पैटीज बना के हियरिंग माही टॉक स्पीक सो पैशनेटली फॉर ऑल द डिशेस आई एम फीलिंग राधा हंगरी so basically this is the tiniest biryani shop that I have yes. ever visited but the flavors, the aromas that are emanating are the sort that immediately seize hold of your olfactory senses. Oh, I feel like I have entered a submarine or something. <laughs> So this is our outlet, sir. Okay. Biryani जो है वो मैं घर से ready करके लाते हूँ। Okay. यहाँ पे उतना जगह नहीं है। हाँ। Every marination I am just preparing at home. हाँ। So like this, I have a evening order actually. हाँ। ये शामी कबाब है। So this is the शामी कबाब। So this is the just onion I have cut and put it. Everything has been minced. And of course the color is from the chana dal. Yes. हाँ। The speciality and the and I can also see the akha chilli. Yes, chilli chilli. और ये मैं छोटा थोड़ा ही थोड़ा ready करके लाती हूँ sir. जितना मेरा order है, जितना मैं आज deliver कर सकती हूँ. Okay. तो for example मैंने ये ready किया अपना. Leg piece. Leg piece. So इसमें कुछ. I can smell the ginger garlic. हाँ. Sir, this is the homemade. हाँ. Ginger garlic paste भी मैं घर पे ही ready करती हूँ. इसमें color है? हाँ इसमें कलर है थोड़ा कलर है because यहाँ के लोगों को थोड़ा सा या बाहर अगर आप बेचोगे तो पहले मैंने कलर ऐड नहीं किया था तो वो बोलते हैं ये तो लेग पीस उतना मजा नहीं आ रहा है और क्या है even this atta also this is a mughlai atta mughlai atta every day fresh morning मैं बेचती हूँ शाम को फिर से तो इससे क्या बनता है इससे जब हम गलौटी कबाब बनाते हैं तो उसमें मुगलई पराठा हम करते हैं। तो ये जो है पूरा जो है दूध से बनाया गया है। इसमें कोई भी पानी नहीं ऐड है। और इसमें केवड़ा है। इसमें केवड़ा है। और ये भी सब हाथ वगैरह से ही होता है। There's no machine for and no helper। सब कुछ मैं ही करती हूँ। So केवड़ा is basically the screw pine essence। हाँ, this one, this is the केवड़ा। So that's the केवड़ा that you use। So गलौटी में तो के� Fat, चर्बी, kidney fat, kidney yes, fat. yes, yes, yes. And is there also some onion paste that goes into this? No, onion paste like a fried onion you can add. In this, yeah, barista in this, banate yes, barista, barista. Uh, barista. Apart from this uh, papaya, there is a kaju and uh, this coconut powder. Coconut powder. That you will, uh, that it will be melt and uh, you will feel a very rich flavor. So everything out here, she's got these little boxes that are tucked in different parts of this shop. And as she opens it, you are basically seeing those uh, treasures from Lucknow make their presence here in Akshayanagar. So sir. tell me, how did you come here, this part? It's very tucked inside. No, sir, we are staying nearby only. Huli okay, so first we are here. First we are here. We have completed five years. I wanted a place where I can 
अपने यहाँ आपको भी देख सको अपने बच्चे को भी देख सको विद इन फाइव टेन मिनट में अगर कोई भी चीज़ यहाँ पे कम पड़ रही है मैं घर जाके फटाक से बना के ले आऊँ क्योंकि हमारे पास यहाँ पे कुछ ऐसा नहीं है कुछ नहीं है। हाँ इवन हम चिकन भी सुबह ही लाते हैं मटन भी हम मॉर्निंग में आज ही लेके आए सो so, कुछ फ्री शॉपिंग क्योंकि वो नाइन थर्टी पे जाते हैं ना तो टू शिफ्ट वन शिफ्ट इज हेल्पिंग बिरयानी डेलीकेसी सेटअप उसके बाद उनका जो काम चलता है This is our chicken biryani. Ah, Already some part has gone. थोड़ी दूध डालते हैं। Yes, दूध डालते हैं because of this chicken का tenderness होना चाहिए। हम्म। mm. ये चीज है। Wonderful. तो दूध दही भी जाता है? दही भी जाएगा, दूध भी जाएगा। जो आप इसका अखनी बनाते हो? Yes, exactly. और उसमें जो saffron का? जब वो दूध हम डालते हैं। हाँ, तो उसमें saffron सा... मैं उसमें डालती हूँ। क्योंकि सर ऊपर से दूध डालने और saffron में saffron घुलता नहीं है। घुलता नहीं है। तो उसका पूरा taste नहीं आता। Wonderful. और क्या बना सर आज तो बस इतना ही है मटन बिरयानी कहा है आपका मटन बिरयानी बहुत थोड़ी मैंने आपके लिए बनाई है सो यू डोंट मटन बिरयानी इतना बिकता नहीं है एक्सेप्ट वीकेंड तो इसलिए ऑर्डर पे बनाते हो सो द मटन बिरयानी दैट्स मेड हियर इज मेड ओनली ऑन ऑर्डर्स सो दिस इज द मटन बिरयानी सो दैट्स अ बिरयानी दैट्स नॉट बीन डिस्टर्बड She has made the akni, the mutton akni, and then the rice yes. that has been made separately. Abhi nahi khola. Ah. This is the rice. So, so long grain the, basmati. Yes. It's a triple axel. It is from Delhi only. Delhi only. We got some vendor here, so ah. wo hume specially manga ke de dete hain. And this is goat. What you use? Yes, it's a goat. You only use goat. You yes. don't use no, sheep. No, 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 sir. In Lucknow, me kya bakra hai? Ah, bakra hi hai. Wahan koi sheep lamb. Asa kuch Correct. scenario hai hi nahi. So it will be like a fry in oil. It's a refined, it's a refined oil. Refined oil. Uh, usually they are making in a fat only, but mm. it smell very badly because it's not a fresh fat we will get from the butcher. Ah. So we are using the oil. So Lucknow made it is made in fat. Yes. So one portion is four galauti. Yes, sir. So is there any binder in this? It's a raw papaya. So I mix the kaju and there's a no water at least. No water. No water at least. Do they put cuscus in some no, places? No, no. Yes, they are putting. They are, they are putting, putting. They are putting. But usually we are not putting as an authentic flavor. So usually shami kebab jo hai, ah. wo deep fry nahi hota hai. Okay. Haan. तो so, बहुत से लोग करते हैं क्योंकि वो एग यूज करते हैं आई एम नॉट यूजिंग एग बिकॉज ऑथेंटिकली एग नहीं यूज करते हैं बट इसमें ऑलरेडी बिकॉज एज अ चना दाल इट शुड ऑलरेडी ब्रिंग इट टुगेदर यू डोंट नीड टू होल्ड इट वेल आई कैन हियर द जेंटल सिजल ऑफ आर लंच गेटिंग रेडी हां बहुत भूख लगा है मुझे आफ्टर हियरिंग माही स्पीक ऑफ द बिरयानी एंड द कबाब एंड नाउ वाचिंग आई एक्चुअली जेंटली शेप दोस पैटीज एंड देन प्लेस देम इन द ऑयल Almost delicately, my appetite is on an overdrive. This is my chapli kebab. Huh. So this is a very authentic recipe from hundreds years back, and ये मेरी दादी नानी का recipe है. Tomato dices हैं इसमें इसमें. Coriander है. Coriander है. इसमें mint है. Onions है. और इसमें जो main मसाले हैं that is like a fresh. पिसा हुआ दस धनिया कोरियंडर सीड्स एंड ऑल्सो दिस अजवाइन एंड ऑल्सो ब्लैक पेपर सो और सबसे बड़ी ये है इसमें चीज कि इसको बाइंड करने के लिए इसमें डाला जाता है अच्छा अरोमा और बहुत ज्यादा इसको सोंधापन देने के लिए मकई का आटा लाइक मेज फ्लोर ओके मेज फ्लोर So in the evening you are here. In the daytime you are boy. Yes, sir. Here. Because my son is there. So basically your role in the morning is you send uh, Majid to buy all the do all the shopping. <laughs> Then you after he brings everything you prepare the biryani. You yes. prepare the the meats. For the Everything. chapli, for the kebabs, the leg piece, yes, and all yes, of that. Sir, yes, sir. And then the boy that you've trained, he basically serves to customers yes, in the sir. daytime. Yes, sir. And then in the evening, you come here yes. when you have some help from family. Yes, sir. And that's when you interact with customers. Yes, yes sir. Of course, so typically what happens is we do our research and all of that. But yesterday, last evening, I spoke to them anonymously, and then I just let in. That I might be visiting, and therefore I am seeing both the husband and the wife here. Typically, most of the places I go unannounced, but 
when i looked at the reviews that they had from many of their customers i felt this was a place that people have come to appreciate even though in a short span of 6 months center mein bahut isliye laate hain taki wo andar se kachcha na reh jaye ah. otherwise wo beech mein pura burn ho jayega authentically there is a some parat type ha ah. uh, aluminum parat but uh, for here it is very tough to uh, keep that thing agar wo parat aapne dukaan mein laya to there is no place for anything <laughs> else uh, there won't be place for mahi yes sir wonderful i love the way she is bathing that galotti in some of that oil because sir it is very melting in mouth so it's tough to handle also because we are not adding maida and this thing so the shape will be here and there but the taste will be very best it's not about the shape it's about the taste, taste right yes correct sir तो मैं देख रहा हूँ कि आप गलौटी को ऐसे नहला रहे हो बट द शामी को आपने काफी इग्नोर किया है साइड में क्या होता है कि शामी जो है ऑलरेडी पूरा पका हुआ है इट इज ऑलरेडी बॉइल्ड करेक्ट मीट इज ऑलरेडी कुक हाँ तो इसको जस्ट जरा सा हमें थोड़ा सा बस उसका फ्लेवर थोड़ा सा चेंज हो जाए इट शुड बी लाइक अ बेग्ड टाइप अदर फ्राइड यस यस थोड़ा सा अदरवाइज उसको डीप फ्राई करने की कोई जरूरत नहीं है कोई जरूरत नहीं है शामी द मीट इज ऑलरेडी कुक विद द स्पाइसिस विद द चिलीज the uh, chana dal which is the most important ingredient and then wo aap haath se karte ho ki piste ho mixer mein dal chopper use karte ho but traditionally it's it's hand yes, pounded yes it's a hand pounded when you do the shami kebab and therefore even the texture is a little different hmm, yes sir so uh, now we are going to serve this chapli, chapli. also huh? chapli ka difference yahi hai ki isme pise hue masale nahi dalte hain khade masale khade masale dalenge taki dhaniya maine pis ke dali grind karke thoda sa usko bhun ke इसमें अजवाइन है ताकि हाँ। आपके पेट को भी आराम रहे काली मिर्च है इसमें और सबसे मेन इंग्रेडिएंट है ये टमाटर थोड़ा सा वो मॉइस्टनेस आएगा मॉइस्टनेस आएगा क्योंकि इसमें ऐसा कुछ भी फैट वगैरह नहीं है बिकॉज चिकन में ज्यादा फैट नहीं होता है वो ये चिकन का बनता है हम चिकन का बनाते हैं हाँ। इसका मटन का भी बनता है और इसको बहुत ही अच्छा सा अरोमा देने के लिए इसमें जैसे मैंने बताया की इसमें मेज फ्लोर डला हुआ है मोस्ट इम्पोर्टेंट टमाटर और मेज अगर फ्लोर है दैट इज अ चाप सो मेज फ्लोर कितना डलता है एक किलो में सर एक किलो में आप डालिए सौ ग्राम ये डिपेंड करता है कि आपका चिकन कैसा है आपने उसको प्रॉपर ड्रेन किया है कि नहीं अगर आपसे हैंडल नहीं हो रहा है कोई बनाना चाहता है देन यू हैव टू ऐड पड़ेगा कबाब दैट आई कैन वेट टू टेस्ट हियर एट बिरयानी डेलिकेसी इन अक्षय नगर अक्षय नगर सो यूजली ये बड़े पीसेस में बनाए जाते हैं इसको चापली क्यों बोलते हैं सर इसको चापते करते हुए चपटा चपटा सो चपटा वाला कबाब है इसलिए चापली कबाब बट दिस इज नॉट एक्चुअली कि मैं फूड बिजनेस से हूँ तो मुझे बहुत कुछ आता है मुझे फ्लेवर्स आते हैं मुझे कस्टमर का टेक केयर करना आता है उसके उसको क्या चाहिए वो हम पूछते हैं सर कैसा लगा फिर उसको मॉडिफाई करते हैं और दिल से खाना पकाते बिल्कुल सर बिल्कुल छह बजे उठ के मैं बिल्कुल दिल से खाना पकाती हूँ और क्या चाहिए चापली जो है सर डीप फ्राइड होता है तो दैट्स व्हाई इट्स इन द सेंटर हां दिस इज द गलौटी गलौटी You know, we still have to do some pictures here, some B-rolls. But I can tell you that I'm in a terrific hurry to get to tasting these. You know, when I set out today, I knew this was going to be a small little enterprise. When I came here, I did not realize how small it would be. But the manner in which Mahi is cooking all this and she talks about it, I know these are. It may be served in a small place, but it's the sort of food that will leave a big impression on your palate i haven't tasted it yet but just in my interaction just looking at how things are organized here tells me so i love the color that the chapli kebab has taken huh bahut pyara lag raha hai sunehra lag raha hai wo tomato ke sath yes sir that is the beauty of this tomato <laughs> wonderful isme aap dekh sakte hain ki kuch bhi aisa product nahi hai ki ye bahut hard ho why it is not in shape because this is the authenticity otherwise main commercial jaungi to isme maida ye sab kafi cheeze main mila sakti hu and it can all hold yes, that very clean shape yes it will be like shape. a patty if it is a patty it is not a galotti ah. in my mummy and uh, dadi terms so 
सो इसका टेक्सचर शायद थोड़ा हार्ड होगा ना हां बिकॉज़ दिस मेज फ्लोर दैट इज अ की इंग्रेडिएंट एक्चुअली सो द ग्लूटेन व्हिच इज देयर इन दैट दैट बाइंड्स इट सर uh, 500 ग्राम से ज्यादा देते हैं बिरयानी एंड देयर फोर पीसेस ऑफ मीट थ्री पीसेस थ्री पीसेस ऑफ चिकन सो दिस इज द चिकन बिरयानी आई लव द अरोमा दैट्स एमिनेटिंग ज्यादा खुशबू किसकी आ रही है यहां पे सर ये है प्रॉपर गरम मसाला जो गरम में पिसा गया है और केवड़ा भी है इसमें केवड़ा भी है और ज्यादातर इसमें क्या है जो जायफल डाला जाता है सो दिस इज अ फुल पोर्शन ऑफ बिरयानी यस दिस इज अ फुल पोर्शन आई थिंक सर आई कैन से इससे भी ज्यादा होता है बिकॉज़ यू कैन से दिस बॉक्स इज देयर इन दिस बॉक्स देयर इज अ 650 ग्राम राइस इट्स कमिंग एंड हाउ मेनी पीसेस ऑफ मीट थ्री पीसेस 70 ग्राम ही Here there's more, no? There's four pieces. Ah, yes, it's a four pieces. Just I served, so ah. <laughs> one so extra piece. I've got an extra piece. So this is what is special for us. Ah, yes. But it's uh, heavy. The biryani is very heavy. So this is the mutton biryani. Sir. The mutton biryani. So tell me, the mutton biryani, the color is a little darker. Yes, because it's a different process to make the mutton biryani. So first, when you make mutton, you use ginger garlic paste and ऑयल डालेंगे हमने खड़े थोड़े से गरम मसाले डाले लाइक हाँ. जीरा like एंड बड़ी इलायची छोटी इलायची लौंग हाँ. उसके बाद जिंजर गार्लिक पेस्ट के डालने के बाद पहले मटन को दो तो तीन मिनट तक तो भूना है मैंने है, उसके बाद उसमें दही मिलाया है ताकि उसका कच्चापन और उसका जो फ्लेवर जो है दही का उसमें अच्छे से मिक्सअप हो जाए जब चिकन बिरयानी की शुरुआत करते हो चिकन नकनी बनाते हो तो पहले तेल जाता है फिर स्पाइसिस जाते हैं फिर जिंजर गार्लिक पेस्ट जाता है हाँ। और जितने भी मेरे पिसे हुए मसाले हैं वो मैं उसको अच्छे से भूनती हूँ तो मसाले पकाते हो मसाले उसमें पहले पकाती हूँ मैं फिर चिकन जाता है और दही दोनों में जाता है दही दोनों में जाता है और वो जो सैफरन मिल्क दोनों में दोनों में जाएगा दोनों में जाएगा मटन बिरयानी में थोड़ा सा दूध ज्यादा जाता है क्यूँकी इसके लिए पानी इसको जैसे पकाते हैं तो वो पानी ज्यादा लेता है और चावल अलग से पकाते चावल पूरा अलग बना हुआ है उसमें स्पाइसेज आते हैं स्पाइसेज हाँ पानी को बॉइल करते हुए आपको सारे खड़े मसाले ग्रीन वाली इलायची होगी बड़ी इलायची हो गई मेस हो गया दालचीनी की लकड़ी हो गई और मेन सबसे ज्यादा इम्पोर्टेंट है आपने जो उसमें सॉल्ट डाला है इज अ लिटिल बिट ज्यादा तो जब हम जो यखनी मैंने बनाई है उसका जो तेल होता है वो डालते वो डालते वो छिड़कते हैं वंडरफुल आई थिंक लेट्स ड्राइव इनटू दैट मटन बिरयानी क्लास हो गया अभी मटन बिरयानी इसमें कितने पीसेस आते हैं इसमें भी थ्री पीसेस आते हैं सर सेवेंटी ग्राम ईच सर ये तो कम है मैं सच बता रही हूँ हम दबा दबा के राइस देते हैं So even as she scooped into that biryani to ladle a portion for us, the aroma that was trapped in that pot has now permeated the entire atmosphere around this shop. And I think on that note, we should get to that table <laughs> and make quick work of the biryani and also the kebabs that we just saw being made. When you come here, there's basically one table that they have for now. But I'm told there will also be some tables that they'll get at the back. If you're not from around here, it's probably the sort of place where you can pick up the food or call for the food from. So while the food certainly looks very promising, don't expect much in terms of the overall ambience of this space. Mutton galauti with a mogalai paratha, and this paratha I'm told is made only with the maida, milk, some kevda that goes in along with some salt and sugar. ये क्या है? This is special technique. Only served with the galauti. Well I've got all my dishes that will make for a tasty and I'm sure a very sumptuous meal here. I've got the galauti kebab right here. I've got the chapli kebab. What I really love about this chapli are the dices of tomatoes that have given it a beautiful appeal. And then of course we also have the shami kebab here. This is the kebab that is made with the chana dal and therefore the color is slightly different. The shami and the galauti are made of goat meat and this of course is chicken. And then we have two biryanis. So we have the chicken biryani right here and also the mutton biryani. But we're going to make a beginning with the galauti, the galauti kebab. It's a sort of kebab that will break rather easily and that's because of the components of the kebab so there's the mutton the mince of course and then the fat and there's plenty of tenderizing that goes in in the form of the raw papaya what i love here is that gentle crust of the meat on top and it's very soft moist nature moist texture within mm. 
I love the mousse-like texture of the kebab. There's also a certain length and flavor in the spices that go in, heat of the pepper. So this is certainly a kebab that will leave a spicy impression on your palate. What is it? It's a seek kebab. That's a chicken seek kebab. What I love here is the texture of that galauti kebab. That gentle whisper of a crust and that very moist inside. What I'm tasting here is definitely the length of spices on my palate. There's definitely a fair bit of the heat that I'm tasting that I'm told comes from the pepper and also some chili, some red chilies that go into the garam masala. And I'm told the lemon is an ideal accompaniment to the galauti kebab. I think that lemon will also help cut through some of the spice, cut through some of the heat. end with the Mughlai Paratha. So when you ask for the Galauti here, you get four Galautis and you also get a Mughlai Paratha along with it. And I'm told this is the way they eat in Lucknow. Mm. There's a certain sweetness that I'm tasting in that Paratha. That milky sweetness of the Paratha also serves to tone down a bit of that Galauti spice. And I think, you know, sometimes when you're tasting things, they always come in assemblages and there's a reason why it's it's all put together in that fashion so for instance out here the lemon helps cut a bit of the spice and the Mughlai Paratha in that dough of maida and milk basically helps cocoon that flavorful meat mince in its gentle milky embrace mm. I also love the soft texture of that Paratha this is the gentle hint of sweetness that suggests there's some sugar that also goes into that dough. Mmm, so good. Some onion ring, some galauti. Just to make for a slightly crunchy bite. Mmm, I love the manner in which the moist crunch of the onion breaks some of the flavor of that galauti. It almost acts as a refreshing palate cleanser. I think next we should probably try the shami kebab. So the galauti is basically the raw meat mince, but out here the shami kebab is the meat that is cooked along with the chana dal and all the spices that go in. It draws its color from the chana dal and also it's a kebab that is more fibrous in the strands that you will see in its texture. Mm. So I can taste the meat, but I'm also tasting the texture of the chana dal in that. And somewhere in there, I'm also biting into some onions. I can also taste... This is fennel, hai kya? Sauf? Sir, wo garam masala. Ah, I can also taste some fennel, some sauf in that garam masala. Very different. So out here for the galauti, the garam masala is quite intense. And those are the length of flavors that you taste. But what I'm happy is that you're not tasting too much of the kevda, too much of the screw pine that can otherwise mask every other flavor that you're tasting. And out here in this shami kebab, the flavors are much milder. You're tasting that gentle whisper of that fennel somewhere in there, perhaps a little more of the aromatic spices. There's some chili too that lends a bit of its fleshy spiciness to it. I love those translucent bits of onions that I'm tasting in that shami. There's a certain comforting texture and flavor owing to the lentils that go into the making of the shami kebab. Also a whisper of the crunch of the crust. Let's now move to the chapli kebab. Now this is a kebab that feels a little firmer as opposed to the super soft galauti and the soft shami. That's because along with the chicken mince, there's also some corn flour, some maize flour that goes in. And I guess the gluten from the maize also serves to bind it into that slightly firm sort of texture. What's interesting here though is the texture of the plump tomatoes that peep through the kebab. So out here the flavors are definitely more gentler. I'm tasting more of the coriander out here. I'm tasting a bit of the grittiness that comes from maize flour. There's a bit of a bite from some of the chicken in there, perhaps a bit of the cartilage that's also gone into that mince. But the three kebabs that I've tasted have been in descending progression of the flavor hit. 
I think the punchiest was the galauti kebab. Next, the shami, and the chapli kebab. The chicken chapli kebab is almost gentle in the manner that it speaks to your palate. I can also taste some of the coriander. So there's a coriander seed and also some of the coriander, the fresh coriander that goes into it. And the tomatoes do well to break the monotony of flavors and textures on the palate with its slight moist bite. Is me zira bhi jata hai? Mm. I can also taste some cumin in that. So I have seen that all the kebabs that I have tasted in 3 minutes, the most powerful flavor is this. Yes. Mm? That is a galotti. उससे थोड़ा हल्का आई है एंड दिस कबाब द फ्लेवर ऑलमोस्ट फ्रेश फ्लेवर द फ्लेवर ऑफ द कोरियांडर इंटरेस्टिंग बिकॉज बोथ इन द ग्रीन एंड ऑल्सो इन द कोरियांडर सीड्स अबीट ऑफ द जीरा एंड देन द टोमेटो सो काफी हल्का है वंडरफुल दैट्स राइट सो इट्स ऑल्सो द सॉर्ट ऑफ मसाला वे यू कैन मेक आउट द इंग्रीडियंट It's not a very complex masala, so you can make out the coriander seed, you can make out the cumin seed that you've eaten. But out here, for instance, I don't know how many dozens of spices that probably go into the masala here. So many spices. So it's very difficult to actually decipher each one. What you can definitely taste a bit of the heat of the, that comes from the black pepper. You can definitely taste there's a bit of the spice that comes from the red chili that goes into the garam masala there. I think we've got one more kebab before we get to the biryani. Chicken See, seek. Yes, sir. Chicken seek. तो लखनऊ में चिकन ज्यादा होता है कि मटन ज्यादा खाते हैं सर चिकन मटन दोनों ज्यादा खाते हैं अच्छा यस सर बट मटन इज मोर इम्पोर्टेंट फॉर द गलाउटी फॉर द गलाउटी तो इसमें क्या फर्क होता है ये सर सीख कबाब में ये है कि इसमें भी सारे ऑथेंटिक मसाले हैं कुछ भी कमर्शियल नहीं है और वी हैव एडेड द एग फॉर बाइंडिंग इज एनी ऑल्सो हेल्प होल्ड इट टूगेदर अलॉन्ग विद Hmm. Again, plenty of the coriander that I'm seeing in there, the onions. Oh, I have not tasted the chutney. Yes, sir. this is the main chutney. It is served with the galotti. I think we should taste a little bit of the imli ki chutney and a little bit of the green chutney. That's an excuse for me to get back to the galotti. Maybe half a piece. The galotti has of course become cold now because it's got the fat. It tends to solidify, change in texture a bit. But I think that's where the chutney will come in handy. Hmm. The chutney that's sour with the tamarind and spicy. Yes. Ah, is me chili seeds bhi dalte ho? Seed nahi hai, is me red chili full hai. Red chili full, no seed ke saath. Seed ke saath. Ah, and I can definitely feel its potent punch. I think also helps cut through some of the fat of that kebab. So, galauti me kitna? Ten percent, twenty percent fat? Twenty percent. Kebab zan, I think time to head to the biryanis. Well, these are rather burdensome biryanis. They're so heavy that I'm scared that the plate will crack under the weight of the biryani. I think let's begin with the chicken biryani first. There's plenty of the masala that's holding on to the rice. What I like here is a long grain basmati rice. Every grain is fluffy, separate. The rice is quite delicate in its flavors, in the manner that it speaks to you. Beyond the veil of the spices that hold on to the rice, you can also taste a bit of the character of the basmati in this. Ah, the chicken is moist. Mm. And the sort that slides off the bone. So, what time does the biryani come here? Morning 11:30 and evening 7:00. So let's say 11:30 biryani aaya and let's say if somebody gets a 2:30 it will be cold. Yes sir, so we can put it for one time. Here? But it doesn't save. Mostly our order is just like we have delivered and it will go to 1 or 3 plates. I'm trying to visualize what this biryani would have been like had I arrived here at 11 o'clock. I think what happens with the biryani is as it loses temperature, it also loses a bit of its potency of flavors. But having said that, the flavors are quite gentle. बाहर की बिरयानी में बहुत ज़्यादा मसाले नहीं हो, जो आपको पता चले, बहुत spiciness हो, but it's a mild मसाला और flavorful. And there's also some milk that goes in. हाँ, yes sir. वो milk जाता है, वो भी उसको बहुत ज़्यादा मतलब mild बना देता है आपको. And what's nice also is that the masala has seeped all the way in. Hot mutton. Well, I asked for 
a fresh batch of the mutton biryani straight from the patila. Wonderful. Ah, this is a biryani that's warm. Chawal dena bas. Mutton nahi, chawal dena. This piece is good, sir. Ah. There's a rogan inside. The rogan nali. Yes, sir. Ah, wonderful. You know when the biryani is hot, hot lagate hi. Yes, ah. <laughs> sir. एक खुशी का मिजाज हाँ मैं सही बात फरमा रहा हूँ कि नहीं हाँ आपका जो लखनऊी बिरयानी खा के थोड़ा बहुत उर्दू आ रहा है अभी और थोड़ा खाऊंगा तो शायरी भी आ जाएगा सर्टन स्मोकीनेस इन द फ्लेवर ऑफ द मसाला द चिकन इट वॉज क्वाइट बाइल Is there also a bit of spicing in the pepper that goes into this biryani? Yes, black pepper, deghi masala. But I did not taste that in the chicken. Yes, it's a little less. Ah, so how do you? I can definitely feel the prickly sting of some black pepper. And what's also nice is that the meat has a bit of fat that it's still holding on to, and that's really where all the flavor resides. Hmm. I was going to bite into it, but I said I should not make that mistake. My teeth are precious. I love the flavor of the mutton biryani a lot more. Hmm. Biryani is actually mutton biryani. It's a like a khandani or very different flavor. Very different. Biryani is just bakre ki biryani. And I also love the depth of flavors in that. Of course, initially I tasted a lot of the black pepper, but now as my palate has gotten accustomed to the heat of the black pepper. Now I'm tasting a bit of the complexity in that masala. In the chicken biryani, I could also taste a bit of the character of the basmati rice. Yahan pe, I cannot taste that because the flavor that emanates from the mutton is greater than that all. Yes. All that fat that you see is also holding on to the rice. Oh, that's delicious. आपने बोला ये लखनऊ में they eat it with the dahi. हाँ ये के साथ बट इसमें इतना फ्लेवर है रायते के साथ खाओगे तो फ्लेवर कम होगा ना ट्रेडिशन एक्चुअली रायता होना बहुत जरूरी है आपने थोड़ा स्पाइसिंग ज्यादा करा है यस सर क्योंकि मोस्ट ऑफ द कस्टमर हमारे यही के बेस रहते लव अवर बिरयानी सो इट इज़ नॉट अगर आप लखनऊ में जाके खाओगे तो शायद उसका जो पर्सनैलिटी सिमिलर होगा लेकिन इतना स्पाइसी नहीं होगा सो शी इज़ बेसिकली अडेप्टेड द लखनऊ स्टाइल ऑफ बिरयानी टू सूट दूट बेंगलुरु नमा बेंगलुरु पैलेट वंडरफुल एंड आई लाइक द फैक्ट दैट यू वेरी अप फ्रंट अबाउट इट Of all the dishes that I've tasted, and I've enjoyed very much that galauti. I also enjoyed the other two kebabs too, but this is a clear favorite. I think naam dukan ka soch ke rakha hai biryani delicacy. Agar main hota unki jaga, I would have put mutton biryani delicacy. Hmm. <laughs> so that meat is moist, not dry in the least, and you want to tug at a bit of the fat each time to savor with your rice. सम ऑफ द फैट इज अ शॉर्ट मुंह में गलावटी की तरह गल जाता है मेल्ट इन योर माउथ लुक एट दैट पिंक मीट एंड अ लिल बिट ऑफ द फैट दैट इज शीत थिन दैट्स व्हाट कन्वेज ऑल द फ्लेवर्स इन एडिशन टू द स्पाइसेस अगर आप यहां पे आकर एक चीज खाना चाहते हो वो है मटन बिरयानी इफ यूर अ चिकन लवर यू विल एंजॉय द चिकन बिरयानी बट अगर आप मटन खाते हो मटन खाने वाले हो तो यू नो वट आई मीन आई गो पर्सनली आई विल टू कट अकॉर्डिंग टू आवर साइज एंड इवन फॉर द कबाब एंड ऑल यू विल गेट द मीट एंड यू विल मिन्स इट यस सो यू विल नॉट अलाउ दैम टू मिन्स इट ई डज द शॉपिंग फॉर आई इन द मॉर्निंग एंड देन यू गो एंड डू योर वर्क एंड देन यू कम बैक हेयर अगेन After office I come here. So, आपको मिलता है कि नहीं मुझे आपको खाना मिलता है हाँ सो ऑल इट टेक्स ऑल दिन आई एम श्योर गेट समिशियस फूड एट दी एंड ऑफ इट ऑल द ब्रिश्ता यू मेक अ पेस्ट द ब्रिश्ता इज वॉट गिव्स द मसाला फ्राइड ऑनियन सो यू मेक अ पेस्ट ऑफ इट एंड दैट गोज इन टू दी एंड बिकॉज द ऑनियन हैव ऑलरेडी बीन फ्राइड वंस एंड दे फोर दे एड इट एंड आई थिंक दैट ऑल्सो फॉर्म्स द बेस ऑफ द मसाला Right, so the masala base is brista, and then you have the yogurt that also goes into it. Yes. Sir. 
एन एस आई शुड ऑल्सो टेस्ट समझ रायता पतली रायता है Can certainly taste the chaat masala in that. If you are bored from biryani and you want to reset your palate, I guess that's where that raita, that telu raita, quite thin, comes into play. As for me, I just want to hold on to the flavor of the biryani. I think on that note, I'll just have a bit of the rice because even as I leave this place, I want to leave with the flavor of the biryani still ringing on my palate. The mutton biryani. Hmm. I can now taste some of the flavor of some of the hard spices, some of the cloves that yes. go into that. Yeah, man, ne kha paunga. Sir, uh, actually, this uh, where, uh, that piece is uh, making as a different style. So, isko pehle jo hai water or vinegar me dip karke, dip dip karke rakha gaya hai for six hours. So you basically brine it. Yeah. It is up to you, sir. Which one you like? I think I will taste the leg piece. Yes. So we'll go for one piece of the leg piece. I thought I was going to close the video right away, but it looks like we have one more dish to taste. Hmm. Moist, juicy. And what's also nice here is that the meat is cooked to opaque doneness all the way in. Sometimes when you're eating a leg piece, you will find that as you go towards the bone, you will find it slightly red. But how do you? I think because they brine the bird. For about six hours in a in a solution of some vinegar and some water, that also helps break down the tissue of the bird, and also helps it cook a lot better. Flavors are quite gentle, not over the top spicy, in the least. You know, when I set out to biryani delicacy, I didn't know what to expect. Sure, I had done a bit of research on the place. I had spoken to the people behind. the place and also learnt more of the difficult circumstances that they set up this tiny shop in and when i arrived here i was even more surprised because i thought the shop was physically much smaller than what i thought it would be but as i began speaking with the couple and especially mahi and discovered her passion for serving some culinary traditions of the land where she hails from that is lucknow i soon began to realize that although this place may be small the impression that it would leave on your palate would certainly not be small i've tasted about 6 or 7 dishes here if i were to return here i would definitely try the galotti kebab number 1 on my list the shami too made its impression as did the chicken chapli kebab of the biryanis of course the chicken was tasty but to me the mutton biryani stood heads and shoulders above everything else that i've tasted So if you want to taste a unique biryani something that you don't find typically in Bengaluru and also want to support a deserving small enterprise definitely find your way to biryani delicacy here in Akshay Nagar in South Bengaluru you're going to find google maps coordinates in the video description below i hope you've enjoyed this biryani delicacy outing until the next time take care stay safe stay strong and happy eating करेक्ट है ना या या वन थ्री वन इट्स नॉट लेस नो नो इट्स नॉट लेस ऑल दैट वी हैव टेस्टेड द टू बिरयानी इज द फोर कबाब्स यस सर या फॉर अ सम ऑफ 1318 हो गया आई रियली फॉलो यू आर यू अ नॉन वेजिटेरियन यस यस एब्सोल्युटली शुड ट्राई द मटन बिरयानी वेरी गुड very enjoyable what's your name abhijit nice to meet you if you'd like to support the work that we do at food lovers tv do consider joining our membership community on youtube by hitting the join button below or on the home page you could pledge a nominal sum and receive special privileges like behind the scenes footage shoot updates access to live q and a's and a lot more you could support us on our patreon page as well For more info check out the links in the description below. If you like this video don't forget to subscribe, like, share and leave a comment below. Happy eating.